chop whatever you are doing. Go and pick those potatoes. That's what you're going to eat. Eh? No. Where's the one? He went out early this morning for a meeting, but he will soon be back. For a meeting? When he knows I'm supposed to be going back this morning? They're traveling now now. Of course, I just finished packing all that things. I came to pick up my, my briefcase. Just sit down. Let's talk while you wait for your father. Talk? Uh, what are you talking again, Mama? I thought everything to be discussed had been discussed. Uh, have you finished? Sit down now. Oh, please make it very brief. You know it's a long time. Just. Yes, ma'am. Why is it that since you got married to that your good for nothing wife, you no longer take care of me, your mother, and your sister, John? What have you done to you? Before I answer that question, I want you to withdraw that statement. Withdraw the statement. That my wife is good for nothing. Withdraw that statement. Okay, I'm sorry. Are you satisfied? That's better. Now go ahead and say whatever you want to say. What I'm saying is that you no longer take care of us the way you were taking care of us when you were a bachelor. And it's all certain since you got married. I'm not asking you. Is your wife more important to you than me, your mother? Mama, listen to me. You are my mother. Oh. My wife is my wife. Those times when I used to take care of you, with your mother, those times are gone. Yeah. I am married now. My responsibilities goes first to my wife, who is my immediate family, before you people. And I know within myself that I've done my best for you people. I buy you clothes every three months. There's enough food in this house for all of you here. And I give you enough money. Enough to take care of your needs. No matter what else you want. Ijama! Ijama! Yes, Come. Mm. Do you like anything in school? No, brother. Good. So, Mama, what's the problem? Johnson. Because you buy me clothes every month, three months, that is why you have grown wings to insult me and your mother. Eh? Is it not your mates that buy cars for their mothers? Mama, look, I don't think I have time for this. It's your, uh, I'm going. Please, Papa, for a second. Johnson! The only woman swimming in money. What is the problem? You are not happy. No, please go and get my seat. Talk to me. What is the matter? See, I'm in trouble. Trouble. Hmm. My son and his wife. What about them? What did they do? Can you believe that since my son got married to that witch, he no longer takes care of this family. He has abandoned us. I don't understand though. Just look at me. My son no longer buys clothes for me as usual. He does not give me enough money to take care of myself again. In fact, Johnson has totally abandoned me because of that rat he calls his wife. So all these things are happening. You sit here doing nothing. Hmm. Don't you know what to do? I don't know. She did my shame of you. How? Oh. It's the fault of your daughter and her mother. Were well, you not the one that told me the last time that she visited your, your son? And she came back with a whole lot of gifts. Oh. You are crying over nothing. My son cannot try that nonsense with me. See, what do I do? 
What would you do? Get rid of her! Auntie. Auntie. So, this is what you're telling my mother to do. This is the kind of advice you're giving to my mother. You want to scatter my family. Wait, let my father come. I'll tell my father this. And I'll make sure when he comes back, I'll tell him. Oh, stop. Are you mad? Oh, you have grown so big to challenge me when I'm talking with somebody. Of the self father instead of her to protect her own mother, she will not. She will rather join her than protect me. This is what I see in this house. Anyway, just leave her aside. Be gone. Tell me what to do to get rid of her because I cannot sit down here and watch her take over my right from me. Hey, it might not drop possible. You have enough reasons to do that. One is that she and her mother will liquidate your son's wealth. Blah, 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 blah. The second one is that she is a married spirit. <laughs> and the third one, the most important reason, she does not have a child for him after several years of marriage. And that is enough to push out of your son's what house. What do you have for? Yes. <clears throat> hey. No. No. Uh -huh. How is your family? Where is Johnson? I didn't see his car outside. He has gone back to Lagos. Johnson traveled back to Lagos without waiting to see me. I asked him to wait, but he refused. Where is he, Joma? She's inside the house. This is the job my son bought for me two years ago. This one is old fashioned now. This was the one he bought a year and six months ago. Huh? <laughs> this one. Was it not the one Mama can they wore to the market yesterday selling okay? Fear what? I will never wear this one again. This one. Is it not the one women wear to the to, to the farm to work now? Oh, not me, oh. Uh, this was the one he bought four months ago. This one. Huh? This one. Anyway, they are still here. But. I won't wear them again. I need to go to Lagos and get more abada. New ones, fashionable ones. So that when I wear them in this village, they will know that she, the best son, is rich. Hmm. What is the matter? Why are you scattering your clothes all over the place? Or do you want to sell them? Sell them. These ones. Who will buy them? These are older badass. That is old, true. old. See, look at old abada. Nobody will buy them. It's not old fashioned. Though they are old fashioned, as you rightly said, but I'll manage some. I'll buy them. You buy some. So how much are you going to sell them to me as your friend? <laughs> you buy some more because I'm not selling all of them. Eh? Yes. Well, you know they are costly materials. So how much are you offering me? Mm. Very expensive money. Abada, for that matter. Mm, because they are old and they are weak. And when you put these ones inside the water, it will just stay. Abada will wash. The more you wash, the more the beauty comes out. It's only that they are old-fashioned, that's all. Uh, because of uh, the weakness and the old-fashioned, I'll give me 500 naira for each. Hey, so 2,000 for four of them. Mba no no. Uh, okay, let me have 800 naira for each of them. Hmm? You know I don't have money. Mm -hmm. Let me just give you 500 naira. Mm -hmm. 2,000 for this four. Anyway, because you're my friend. 
Just look at this one. No, no, Biko, don't go. Why? You know that day I was discussing with you outside now? My daughter, Ijo, she went and told her father everything we discussed. So my husband now said you shouldn't be coming to her house again. So don't worry. I'll be going to Lagos. On my way, I'll branch and collect the balance. No, your husband had better be careful. He should mind the way he says things about me. See, you're always angry on small, small things like that. Don't worry, I'll come to your house and collect it on my way to Lagos. I'm expecting you tomorrow evening to stand there. Okay. When you come, I'll give you the balance, sir. Huh? Okay. Are you going immediately? Yes. Let me find Kola now. No, thank you very much. Don't worry. We look at them like this. Yes, let me just look at them like this. <laughs> People will just laugh at you on the way. It doesn't matter. Hold, hold up, Ada. <laughs> it's alright. Okay. I'll see you when I come. No problem. Greet your family for me. I will. No problem. Yeah, yeah, we will. Just because she wants to prove that her son is rich. That was why she condemned this beautiful rain in Abadez. Just imagine. <laughs> Let me go and enjoy my life. You bought from the market. Eh? Do that now, immediately. And lock up the cash. Eh? This woman, every time you put it, give me an order. See, sir, this woman became. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, sir, she know you. No, I'll do this. Mm. Honey, don't play me while you. Hey, hey, John, no, no. Okay. I don't know how to do it. Um. I think this is to cook in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, I will okay. show you. I need process. Hey, check up. It's all over the place. I told you don't know how to play, eh? Oh, Mama, you're here. How will you know if I'm here? Who the Mama? When you're playing love in the veranda. No, 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 public. Mama, is it wrong for me to play love with my husband? By the way, where is your mother? She's sleeping. She's still sleeping? By this time of the day? Huh? What did I eat in this house today? Huh? You and your mother? Expect me to go to the kitchen and cook for you? Mama, it's not like that. I was waiting for you to come out to serve you your food. Oh, 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 oh. So, I have to ask for food before you give it to me. If it were your mother, will it be so? Eh? Now, let me ask you. Since I came to this house, how many times has your mother asked for food before you give it to her? How many times? Anyway, I don't blame you. It is not your fault. I blame my son, Johnson, for keeping you in this house. Come on, will you go and get me food to eat? Oh, no, I'm sorry, let me go and get it. Hey, 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 come back, come back, come back. In fact, I don't want to eat your food again. Mama. Eh, me I didn't Mama, what is it? Why are you talking to my wife like that? What has she done to you? Hey, 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 Johnson. Just no no money. No call no money. I'm not I have not called you at all at all. No no money. Mama. Mama, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Eh? 
Even if I offended you, I'm sorry. Let me cook it and bring it. I said I don't want to eat your food again. Is it by force? Go and sit down. I will go to the kitchen. Cook for you, cook for your mother, cook for everybody. And become your slave. That is what you want. Go and sit down. You slept well. Mm. My in law. Good morning. I hope you slept fine. said and did all these things to you? Yes, she did. Well, Mama, you're not going anywhere. No, my son. I have to go. The insult was so... I said, bad. Mama, you are not going anywhere. Mama, please. Please, Mama. Eh? Listen to my husband, okay? It's true Mama really insulted you. Please. Who insulted her? Eh? Who insulted her? Is it because I asked her to go back to the village? To reduce blood on my son? Is that what you call insult? Eh? Machi and Doris, let me ask you. Is my son marrying both of you? Huh? Is it because I have come to enjoy my son's money? That's all I brought him up myself. That is why you two want to come and stay. Mbani. It is not possible. Listen, 
My son coming to marry from your family is a curse. Eh? Doris has not been able to give him a child since they got married. Hey, enough of that, Mama. I said enough of that. You cannot insult my in-law and my wife in front of me. You can't do that. <laughs> oh, you call her your wife. Hey, call her your man because she's a man. There's no difference between her and a man. <laughs> oh, you call her your wife. <laughs> Let me tell you, if her mother does not leave this house by this time tomorrow, I will lock up the whole house and everybody and everything inside it and set it on fire. I will do it. I will do it. Please, 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 please. Stay. Please let my man leave. Please. What is the meaning of this? Okay, sorry, sir. My friend, hold on, my friend. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay, I'm going to help me. Can you sit down? I'm going to allow him to go. Can you sit down, man? I don't want to be. I don't want to be. Don't worry, what is wrong with you? Put this inside and let me leave this place. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> Drop her off at the park. I'll go to the office from there. Why won't you use this small car to take her to the park? <laughs> no, Mama. I want to go in this. Eh? It's all right. Okay, I want to come out. Yes, what's the problem? Yes, sir. Okay. Please, I want to beg you for something. You know, say my my pocket is down there. Like if I get out from this place. Sorry, sir. Go and tell the coach what you get. Let me leave. Let me Sorry, go to sir. where I'm going. Okay, I guess I'm going to open gate for them. Um, honey, 
If you have the money, buy them for her. After all, she's your mother. Is that what you have to say? Honey, what else do you want me to say? Of course you don't have anything to say. What do you say? If it is your mother, you will force him to bring out all the money. You will rush to the market and buy everything for her. Now it is my turn. You don't know what to say. Don't know what to say. Just let me tell you. If you want to break into a, a, a bank and steal, mm, that is your business. If you want to sell one of your cars, that is your business. If you want to sell your wife, sir, I don't care. All I know is that you must buy all those things and give me the cash before I leave your house. Otherwise, I will steal your with your people. Mama, listen. That's really because you all wrong. If you like, stay in this house for the next five years. It is none of my business. I'm sure that was why you left Papa to come to this place. But this time around, you have failed because it will not work. Uh, come on, let's go. You! This your plan will not work. I know you are the one engineering him, but your plan will not work. Look, I promise you, very soon, you will go back to the village. That's where you belong. But you will leave this house. That is your promise. Yes, I want to go to the farm. You're welcome. Thank you, Baba. Yes. Thank you very much. What about my daughter-in-law? Oh, she's very well. Very, very fine. She sends her greeting. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, Ijoma? When last did she visit? Um, she was here last two weekends. Yes. Last two weekends? Yes. Ijoma comes here and has just refused to come see me in Lagos. <laughs> well, it's up to her. Since she has refused to come to Lagos, remind me before I leave, uh, let me give you some money for her. Okay. It's all right. Uh, by the way, yes. what is your mother still doing in Lagos? Oh. Doesn't she want to come back home? Papa, so that's one of the reasons why I came to see you in the village. Good. But do you know that since Mama came to my house in Lagos, it's been one problem after the other. Why? Is she sick? Sick? Mama first harassed, embarrassed, insulted my mother-in-law 
in my house, asking her to leave my home. Your own house. Secondly, Papa, Mama is trying to run my home for me. Mama is trying to tell me what to do in my own house. My son, your mother's uh, behavior is not a strange thing to you. I have been putting up with it. You just have to endure like a man. But one thing you will do for me is this. When you get back to Lagos, tell her that I've asked her to come back immediately. And if she refuses, drag her into this village. Do you hear me? Drag her down to this village. I've heard it, Papa. Yes, I have. Uh, meanwhile, uh, before I get in, uh, let me quickly get to the side and see how far they go. Oh, they are doing a beautiful job there. Oh, I see. It. Yes. Uh, I was there yesterday. In fact, the road and the, the cement you sent in came in, and the, the nursing are making good use of it. In fact, it's a beautiful walk. <laughs> you better get there. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, go uh, there and you'll see so the let job. Me get there. I'll come oh, okay. Why is it that Mama doesn't like me? Ever since I came into this family, I don't know, she just hates me. I think there are three reasons why Mama doesn't like you. One, some time back, there was this girl she wanted me to marry, but I refused. Secondly, after we got married, I diverted all my finances from my family towards you, whom I believe and know is my immediate family and my responsibility. Three, and most importantly, is the fact that you haven't given me a child yet. But honey, it doesn't matter. Yes, honey, please, please. Mama! See, look, get out. I want to talk with my son. What's the meaning of that? See, no, no, no. How can you barge into my bedroom without knocking? And ask my wife to leave. Will you shut up and listen? Shut your mouth up. Yeah. Let me ask you. You are here. Enjoying with this thing you call your wife. Yeah? You call her your wife. Tell me, what joy do you derive from her as a wife? What happiness does she give to you as a wife? Tell me. What, what, what do you mean? Oh, you don't understand me, eh? You don't understand me. Now listen. Johnson, I want you to divorce Doris and marry a girl that will give you children. She's not a woman. She is your senior brother. Divorce her this night! I wonder whether she has tied you. Divorce her and then they will lose you. Oh? <laughs> I should divorce Doris. Yes! My wife. Of course. And marry another woman. Uh -huh. I should divorce a woman I love and call my wife and marry another child. Now listen to me, woman. Listen to me. I ask you, are you God that gives children? Answer me! Are you God that gives children? Ever since you came into this house, it's been one problem after the other. And now it's gotten up to the extent of you asking me to divorce a woman I love and is my wife to marry another woman. Mama, I think you have overstayed your welcome. First thing tomorrow morning, pack your things and leave in this house. Mama. Leave my bedroom. Leave my bedroom. I said leave my bedroom. You are pushing me out of here. Call it whatever you want. Because of this thing you call your wife. I said call it whatever you want to call it. Now leave my bedroom. Leave me alone. Leave my bedroom. Just leave me. I said leave my bedroom. Leave me. Leave, leave this place. I don't care what you call it. I said leave. Leave me. Leave my bedroom. You will sit down. Go. Go. You go. I'm not going 
going anywhere. I said, come and enter this car. You're not going anywhere. You say you're not going anywhere. Don Williams! Don! Oka! Oka! Both of you, come here. Come here. Did you say you're not going anywhere? You say you're not going anywhere. Now, both of you. Get this woman and put her inside the car. You say what, Laga? I said, get this woman and put her inside the car. Madam, I've been going now. If you touch me, if you touch me, I'll give you what I can for somebody else. Just touch me. Lady, big woman. Madam, I beg you, don't No, I said, make me push you to the car. I will touch you this is tomorrow. I go into. Put her inside. Put her inside. Don't worry. You will leave the way I have left. The way I'm not leaving, you will leave. You will see what I will Come on, Justin. Even if I'm not, I'm going. What's in this small car now? Just the little car to take me home. You are going inside this car. I don't want to go in this car. I don't want to go in this car. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. What kept you in Lagos? You told me you were going to spend only two days and you spent more months and extra. What were you doing in Lagos? Hey! Mungabu Chidebe, me, my own son and his useless wife threw me out of the house and brought me back like a corpse. Ozumulamu! Hey! There is nothing you can do to them as far as I'm concerned. Eh? They have not offended you, rather you offended them. Oh, them because you asked Johnson, your son, to stop furthering his wife's education at the university. Because he refused to marry a girl of your choice. Oh, you wanted Doris to start breeding children for you, forgetting that God's own time is the best. Hmm. Johnson has been tolerating your excesses in this family in order to maintain peace. Let me tell you, listen. Any further of this from you, I will bundle you and send you back to your own parents. Father Ben, I am set. Get ready. I am set. Get ready. I am set. Me, leave. You must leave. leave. You are the one to leave. This is my children's house. You will leave. I am the head of this family and this is my house. Adi, you must, must go. You are the one to go. You are going. You will go. You will see. We will see. Please. What is wrong with you? Every time you are not taking biscuit or chinchim or sweet. Mama, you to finish everything in this shit. It's only this one now, huh? Where are you carrying this thing? Mama, he's a brother. He came from Lagos this morning. And he brought this bag of yam and this bag of rice. So he asked me to give it to our inmates. And that's where you're going now. It's alright. Eh. I will send them to them myself. But he asked me to do myself. Uh, you know, I saw our in-law around. I'm sure she's still around. Uh, keep them here so that I'll go and look for her and she'll come and carry them from here. No need to go. If you go to her house, I will see her. Uh, so let's keep it here. Uh, uh, Tell him that you have delivered the message. I will see him when I come. Eh? Give him food before I come. Okay. <laughs> Every day he comes home. He will find something for his dinner. I wonder how, how many things he brought home. See the boss in the Hey. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. This show shit is growing big every day. So many items. My dear. So I said, right, sir. What do you want me to do now? It is the Lord's doing. You know my son, Johnson, now. He sends me money from Lagos. Other items. So I have to stop this shit with 
different different items. Uh, uh, how much are you selling this rice? You want to buy rice? I want to buy rice. Uh -huh. You know how much rice costs in the market? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's my friend. Give me 2,600 naira. Can it? 2,006. Eh, what are friends for? Wow, she never looked. She has a good one. Come on, dear. Anytime he sends me things, I will make sure other women benefit from it. I, yeah, I know what you can do, my sister. That's your money. Yeah. How can I see borrowed man? You have to carry it to the garage. You have to look around. You. Some of these boys, they carry barrel. Look at you. Barrel, barrel! Nah, bia, 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 because you have to eat in the You insisted on making this trip tonight? Yes, brother. You know I have my exams, my last exams coming up through this time. I have to go. If you ask me, I'm not comfortable with your going. But uh, nothing will happen to me. Uh, what did you say your exams uh, is coming up? Through this time. And yes. when are you going to finish? Finish through this time. Okay. I'll be traveling to Europe in a week's time. As soon as you finish your exams, I want you to come back here to Lagos. I stay with Doris until I come back. I'll be gone for about two months or thereabout. Two months? Why so long? What business of yours is it how long I stay? <clears throat> now go call me Don Williams, okay? So we're gonna drop you off at the park. Okay. difficult to eat. Please. Amarachi, they are talking too much. What do you want from me? What, what do you want me to do for you? Please, Mama, I want you to give us at least some cups of rice so that the children will eat before yes. hunger kills them. Hmm. Give you a few cups of rice. You even have a choice. Eh? Are you the only widow in this village that will be carrying your children about from house to house begging for cups of rice? This house is not where they manufacture rice. I don't have rice. Mama, it's not like that. It's just that you are the only hope we have, please. I said I don't have rice. Go to the market, that is where you find rice. There is no rice in my house. 
What is happening? My children are on the place now. What is happening? Nothing is happening. Why is this woman crying? 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 Why is this
I didn't see one of Johnson's cars outside. It is not where you normally park it at the car park. Where is it? Uh, the car developed little problem this morning. So I had to take it to the mechanic. Mm. So the car is at the mechanic now? Yes. Hmm. Just one week that Johnson traveled. You have spoiled his car. Maybe next time what we will hear is that you have sold the cars. Ah, Mama, why, why? Why are you saying all this thing to me? What have I done to you, Mama? What have I done wrong? You don't know what you have done wrong. Eh, there is. You don't know what you have done wrong. Oh, my God. say, Gamma. You will know what you have done wrong. Hey, Gamma. So, Mama. Everything is alright because you didn't tell me we were coming to Lagos. Oh, you are mad. So I have to take permission from you before I come to Johnson's house. When you came, Mama, Mama, you're welcome, Mama. Mama, what of everybody? Everybody is fine. Hi, it's Papa. It's okay. Hey, yeah, it's all good. Um, Mama, Adi, meet my friend Adora. Adora, my mother. Adema. You're welcome, my child. How about your parents? They are fine. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Adi, baby. Let's go downstairs. So I'll get you something to drink, eh? Okay. That's my auntie. I'll see you before you go. Adi, yes, ma. That's my auntie. Auntie Doris. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. Doris, I want to send my back to my room. Eh? Doris, I'm talking to you. Won't you send my back to my room? Eh? I want to talk to you. Talk to me. Mm. About what? What is no problem? Mm. It's about your friend Adora, the one that came here this evening. My friend Adora. So what about her? Mm. Mm. Is she married? No, no, no. She's just a young girl. I want Johnson to marry her. Hey, Johnson. How many Johnsons do you know? My own Johnson, of course. Mama. Mama. Johnson is married now. So why must you think of him getting married to my friend Adora? I wonder what you are up to. Okay. You want my friend to be brother's second wife? Call it whatever you like. I have just told you my mind. That's all. But, Mama, you know this is not fair. Auntie Doris is very nice. Okay. If you marry my friend now to brother now, what happened to Auntie Doris? Or what if brother refuses to marry Adora? Or Adora refuses to marry brother? Even if she has agreed, don't you think it's not? Will you stop all that long story and do what I say? Just convince her, that's all. Uh -uh. Okay. What will I tell brother now that Auntie Doris did? Leave that to me. I will handle it. Do your own. Just talk to her and convince her. Finish. I don't think I can do this. Besides, Auntie Doris has done nothing to me. My conscience will not allow me to do that. Ijama, now I know that you are very, very stupid. You are stupid. Oh, you don't even have pity on your brother. Hmm? A lady he married many years ago. Up to today, has not even a child for him. What if something happens to your brother tomorrow? Don't you think that his name will be wiped out, Mom? 
Now listen. Choose between that woman living in this house and me, your mother, dying. Or sending her out of this house and me, your mother, living. Choose one. Okay, Mama. I've heard you. Right now, I want to sleep. I will tell you my mind tomorrow. That is good for me that you want to tell me. Good. Adora, you know that my brother Johnson. Mm. Yes, I have seen him once. Good. Adora, mm -hmm. I want you to marry him and you'll be sure of a comfortable life. Ijoma! Are you mad? You want me to marry your brother? Okay, what about the wife? Or you want me to be a second wife? Just listen to me. If you know you love me as a friend, and if you know you want my mother to live for me, just marry him. That is why he's a witch. Joma, the same woman you told me is the nicest woman you have ever met in your life. Adora, I know. I never knew she was all that bad. She was only pretending to be good. Anyway, Adora, my family are making an arrangement to throw her out of the house and marry you to my brother. What? Ijoma. So, what do I tell my fiancé, Timothy? You know what? Timothy, relax. What has he offered you ever since? Just marry my brother and see what will happen to your life. Okay. I'll think about it. Move the bucket. Me, Mama. Mama, why are you with that? Ah! Go! 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 Mama, I don't like this. I've done nothing wrong to you. Why are you treating me like this? Go! Go, you person alone. Why do you hate me? Oh, God! Move the bucket. Move the bucket. Move the bucket. Move the bucket. My husband will not be happy with you if he comes back. You know that. I said, Why are you being wicked, Mama? I am fine. Why? What did I do to them? Just leave this. They will kill you before they come back. I said, Mama, do it. Go. You. Get out. Get out. Let me go. So you don't tell my club. You don't tell my club. I will see you step your leg into this car. Now get out. It's your mission. Yes. Mama, wait. Let me tell you something. Tell me what. It's your mission. Tell me what. You. You of all people, it's your mission. Yes. You know you get married. Don't marry her. You know you get married. Don't marry. I am doing this to me. My mama. I'm not going to leave her back. I'm not going to leave her back. My husband will not be happy with you. Mama, you're wicked. And you're a witch. You've never satisfied your wicked. I'm going to pay you back. You're a witch. You're a witch. You're a witch.
Satan is free from your witchcraft. Hey! Did you say that it was my wife and my daughter, your mother, that did this to you? Yes, sir. I knew it. I knew she was up to mischief when she told me that she was going to Lagos. I knew she was going to cause some trouble. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything will be all right, my daughter. You are going to stay with me here until your husband comes back. Then I will talk to him myself. Don't be worried. Let's go inside. Bring your load. Let's go inside. to come and carry everything in this house. I'm robbers. But God was so kind to us. They did not succeed. Because each of and I really struggled with them. But they really beat me up, oh Johnson. They broke my waist. They broke my neck. My head. Doris. Sent I'm robbers here. It was after the incident. That this little girl is your mass friend. Her name is uh, Adora. She started taking care of us. In fact, she has been so nice to us. That was why I married her for you. Married her for me? Uh, that was why I want you to marry her. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Where was the girl wanting to? Oh, God! Come here, my friend. Come here. Where were you when this happened? Okay. Your, your mother sent me to go and see my sick son. Since I've been long, I saw them last. And when I came back, I heard what happened. The boy was so sick. He was even at the point of death. And I now asked him to go and see them. If I ever lay my hands on that girl, she'll be sorry. She'll be so sorry she was ever born. Good day, all. Yes, good day. Who are you and what can I do for you? Uh, he's the police officer investigating the case. In fact, this boy has been trying for us. He has been working so hard. Yes, I am Inspector Naji. 
the IPO in charge of this case. After all the investigation, we find out that your wife, Doris, actually planned the robbery. Although she's been taken on bail, she is expected to be in court next week. We have, however, recovered some of the goods. Doris. Doris did this. If I ever lay my hands on her, she'll be sorry she was ever born. Um, thank you very much, uh, Inspector Water. What did you call yourself, Inspector Water? Inspector Naji. Yes, I appreciate all your efforts. Thank you very much. Thank you. But I still would love to see your DPO because I want to pursue this case to the end. My son, why are you bothering yourself with pursuing the case? Leave her. Just thank God that we are alive and that she has gone away forever with her evil. Let her go. Leave her. There's no point pursuing any case again. Yes, sir. Your mother is right. because you do not understand. This lady standing here that you people call my wife because as far as I'm concerned, she's not my wife. Johnson. Connived with Andrews. Came into my house. Cutted away all the electronics in my house and Me. sold the properties. Papa, if you oh. doubt it, this man standing here is investigating police officer handling the case. Go on and ask him. My God. Is it true? Yes. Officer. Sir, everything your son told you is true. Officer! Papa! I told my you. daughter, is it true? Papa, I swear to God. I swear to Almighty God, Jehovah, I know nothing about it. No, shut up! Papa, they are lying against me. Shut up! I know nothing about it. No, shut up! Don't Officer, me! Don't mess you with this like that. Why you assume Johnson should treat my own daughter like that? 
And do you people know what it means to accuse somebody of being an armed drama? And your son, Johnson, has forgotten how he begged me before I gave my uh, daughter. My daughter signed a marriage. Look, if you people don't know how you handle this matter, I swear. I will do my wish. No, please, in law. Please. please, in law, don't talk like that. It has not come to that uh, yet. Eh? You know, there is. I know very well that there is a mistake somewhere. I am even confused myself. Eh? Please, our in law, my brother, I am suggesting that some of us should go to Lagos to see Johnson. Mm -hmm. And to know exactly what happened. Thank you. Before hmm. we know what to do. Good. My brother Somadina, I am confused. <clears throat> I think our in law is right. Let us plan how to go to Lagos. We can even find from the police whether the allegation leveled against her daughter is true or false. Go to which Lagos? Go to which Lagos? You people will not step into my son's house. You will not. You. What is that you call your name? Samadina or something? Mm. Your daughter is a rogue and you know it. Don't you know about it? You know. You know your daughter is a rogue. Please, 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 Women behave like mad people. Please, don't look at her behavior. Bear with me. My Lord. Uh, listen, it will not be necessary to send anybody to Lagos. I will send for my down here, then we can talk to you. Eh? Uh, I will suggest that you ask your daughter to come back here and stay with me. To come back here. Yes, I will treat her very well. To come back here in this house. Please, in law. Let her come. She's going to stay with me until we settle everything. Some other of four people. Some of them four. Doris. Doris. Yes, Papa. Come here. Doris, you are going to stay with us here. Papa, why? Yes, my daughter, listen to me. You are not going back to that house. If your husband wants you back, let him come here. Then, I will teach him a lesson. That is the time I will prove to him that Toro Toro is the legitimate father to Toki. Yes! But mama... Mama, Johnson's father did no wrong to me. I mean, why do you want me to just abandon him like that? But his son and mother, they abandoned you. I know did you do anything to them? Tell me! Mama, I'm pregnant. What? Pregnant. Hey! I'm serious, he did, How many months? Three months. Is your husband aware of that? Actually, no, Papa. You know, I found out when he must have traveled. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And um, I was waiting for him to come back for me to tell him before the unfortunate incident happened. So I didn't have the opportunity to tell him at all. Good. Very good. Mr. Mr. Both of you. On no account, you should let them know about it. Eh? But Papa, I... Pa I listen but to what? your father. Listen to your father. He has a reason for saying that. You should keep it secret. <laughs> Me? Eh? 
No, well, Papa. Since it's going to be like this, mm -hmm. I can't just stay idle, you know. I have to go back to school. Yes. I have to go and finish my one year course in banking and finance, <laughs> if that is the case. That's a very good idea, my daughter. Mm -hmm. eh? Don't worry. Whatever it will cost, mm -hmm. I am solidly behind you. Go ahead. <laughs> eh? Okay, you can go. <laughs> Bless. Bless. Hey. Hey, hey. Something to tell you. Something to tell me? Do you want to what that be? Tell me. What is it? <laughs> um, darling, yes. I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes. Come on, are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. See, I went to the hospital today and the doctor confirmed it. I hope this is not some kind oh, of... Oh, God, no. Hello, no, it's not. not hear that girl's name being mentioned in this house again if you know what is good for you the fly that does not listen to advice follows the cops to the grave listen let us begin to plan how to bring your wife doris back to this house bring back who it is a lie she will never never step into this house again bring back who that witch i was to get you the one to come back now that god has losing him, him for me she will never step into this house again. Not when I am alive. Hey! Come, my son. Don't worry. If he does not go with you, I will go with you. I am solidly behind you. Thank you. Who is here? Yes. You are good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes. You are Mazio Dewe, I suppose. Yes. The father of uh, Adora. Yes. I am Johnson's father. My name is Ewemi. Okay. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. Come in. Come no, in. no. I'm just on a very brief visit. Really? Yes. Uh, Nana. Nana. Yeah. Bring your chair. Let go, sir. Yeah. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. I understand that uh, Johnson, my son, came here to ask for the hand of your daughter in marriage. Yes. He was here with uh, his mother, seeking to marry my daughter, Dora. And I said he should go and come back to his people. That's not true. Thank you very much. You did very well by asking him to go and come with his people. That shows that you are a good father and a good traditionalist. You see, my people and I do not support that marriage. Really? So if you give your daughter's hand to Johnson in marriage, you would have made a very big mistake. Because Johnson is already married to a girl for over six years now. What? Yes. And why does he need a second wife? My brother, that is a long story. Let's leave that for now. Um, I shall be going. Let's find some. No, we, we shall take that some other time. Huh? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Huh? My regards to our family. Thank you.
called you in this night to help talk to a lot of I have spoken to her several times. I have warned her about this man called Johnson, who is now seeking her hand in marriage. I have explained to her how Johnson's father came here to dissociate himself and his people from the proposed marriage. Because, according to him, Johnson had been married for over six years. What does our daughter want from a man like Johnson? A diamond. What is the matter with you? Do you prefer to marry from a family that do not accept you? Do you want to be a second wife? Uncle, this thing that my father is saying is improper. Mm -hmm. I love him and he loves me. So the issue of being a second wife does not mean anything to me. There is nothing on this earth that will stop me from marrying him, not even my father. Besides, I'm pregnant for him. Get me. Reverend, I, I came to tell you that I, I want to start my marriage course very soon. Marriage course? Yes, Reverend. But uh, you've waited before. <laughs> yes, Reverend. But I want to wed my new wife, Adora. Your new wife, Adora? Which Adora are you talking about? Oh, that reminds me. You don't know her. Very soon I'll bring her here to, to, to introduce to you. What about your wife, Doris? Have you sent her back in? Um, I don't know how to put it, but something like that. I'm sorry, I'm with you. No, but probably if I may ask. Um, um, excuse, me. You... excuse me. Excuse me.
Do you understand me? Or else you see me in another mood. Please, Baba, I, I can explain. Please, you see, it is, it is not my fault. I did everything possible to save her life. But I could, my in-law... Who is her in-law? Who is her in-law? Did I give him another letter to marry? Don't provoke me further. Go and bring back my daughter. Before this matter turns into something else. Please, my brother. Eh? My brother, take it easy. Let us look for solution to this problem. Eh? Even if you shout from now until next year, Adora will never come out again. Eh? Please, Johnson. Johnson, you messed us up. We told you that we don't want you to marry our daughter. Still, you went ahead and impregnated her. See now, trouble has come. What will you do? Anyway, you have to go for now. We will send for you. Because tension is very high now. Please, my brother, please come. Please. You! Please. You! You! Please. Johnson, we sent for you. And without wasting much of our time, we have had a meeting and concluded that before our daughter will be buried, you must marry her according to tradition. What? Marry what? Me marry a dead person? How can that be? Anyway, as far as we are concerned, our daughter is not married. Talk more of saying that she is dead. Unless you want us to make it a police case, then we will charge it as a murder case. We don't like it like that. Eh? Just tell us what you want us to do. We will do it. What are you talking about? You want them to make it a police case? It's okay, madam. Let us take it like that. It's okay, madam. Johnson, I'm going to Yes. It's not our fault. Uh, madam, you are son. Marry our daughter traditionally. Yes. Yes. There's no problem. Right. Iloka. Yes. I think you are with the list. Of course. Tell them what they're supposed to do to us as we discussed. We put our cocoa put our sister. Now listen. You bring for us the following: thirty pieces of judge material, twenty pieces of abada, one cow. Two she goods, one he goods, fifty cartons of beer, hundred gallons of pan wine, hundred tubers of yam, thirty crates of mineral, three baskets of cola nuts or jibo, five bags of rice, eighteen cartons of milk and the ten fingers of tobacco. Is that clear? My kinsmen, my people, our in-laws brought several crates and cartons of beer and mineral. Under normal circumstances, this is not enough. But he has just paid in the sum of 50,000 Naira to make up for the shortfall. He has also paid in the sum of 200,000 Naira as dowry was a box of judges' material and other clothes, other items in the house, and a goat. So my in-law, this kitchen chair, otherwise known as woman bench, represents your late wife. If you are sincere to marry her, or would I say, if sincerely you have married her, 
you come forward, pick up this cup of palm wine on that chair, and drink it to fulfill our tradition. Tradition demands that you dance to the tune of the music. Yes. Hear the music.
greatness have nothing to offer. So, my son, since my daughter was married, she cannot be buried in our family land. It's an abomination. She should be buried in her husband's place, according to tradition. <laughs> oh, Papa, the issue is that I, I am having some problems with my family. And that was why I brought her here to be buried. That's my, my wife. Sister, where are you going? Why can't I bury her here? Let me alone. Johnson, are you deaf? No. We cannot bury our daughter in any of our family land. It is a taboo. Take her to your family and settle with your father. My love. My love. Don't let anybody lead you to But Joseph, why are they rejecting her cause? Eh? Look at how you have been disgraced before your friends. But Johnson, you should have told us that the lady is your girlfriend and not your wife. Frank, don't get me mad. Did you hear what I said? Don't you get me mad. Why not did they court your Simona Maida? Why not then? Then let the court bury her. Let the court bury her. Johnson, can't you understand what is going on here? Huh? So, so what do we do? Have nothing to fear you. Well, uh, I think we should look for a nearby mature and then think of what next to do. Don't let me, don't let me do against my will. Don't let me, don't let me treat somebody like that. Don't let me, don't let me throw me dead against an innocent soul. Frank, I don't know what sort of problem I found myself in right now. Adora has been dead for six months now with her body lying in the mortuary. Neither my parents nor hers would allow me bury her either in my place or in her place. It is a very big problem. Do you know, I was beginning to think that maybe I shouldn't have married her. And you know it's my mother that put me in that mess. My own mother. What is it you don't understand, John Sin? Eh? Are you not an evil man? What you did was wrong. How could you keep somebody's daughter in your house without paying anything on her head? Come on, a gallon of palm wine, according to tradition, you did not give to their parents. Eh? Then talk of paying her dowry. And not even any of your parents followed you to their place. And you call her your wife. Johnson, you have made a very big mistake. And you are even lucky that her father is not a wicked man. You could have done away with your life. Frank, Frank, I know there's a mistake has been made. It's like a spilled milk. The issue now is, what do I do? Well, uh, I have a suggestion. You see, since both parents rejected her corpse, why don't you bury her at the cemetery? Cemetery? Yeah. Cemetery. Cemetery. I think that's a nice idea, Frank. I will bury her in the cemetery. Frank! Frank! Yeah, I'm, so, I'm coming, please. I'm sorry. I'm coming. Let's go to where we're going to. It's okay. I wasn't going with you. We're running late. Yeah, it's okay. Let's go. But Franco, yeah. before I forget, something we're discussing in there. Yeah. How can these mortuary people Charge me 
450,000 naira. Johnson, as I've said before, Johnson, let us forget about the money for now. Eh? Let's arrange to take her corpse and bury her tomorrow, period. It's all about that. Do you know I have a feeling that her family, even those people are very wicked people, her family might be colluding with the mortuary people to defraud me. But I tell you what, if they like, let the bill run into 10 million naira. I will pay and very hard. Sure. What is that, Johnson? Don't ever take me to the cemetery. If you do, I will teach you a lesson you will never forget. I am married. Take me to my husband's place and bury me. Sweetheart, the love of my life. First, I took you to my family. Joseph! They rejected your cops. I then took you to your own family. They also rejected your cops. So that you know I love you. And I want you to rest in peace. That's why I want to bury you on this. <laughs> Do you want this problem to take my head? Papa, remember. Remember that I'm your only son. The only son you have, Papa. Can you start this happening to me, Papa? Please, Papa, please. I swear it, Papa. If you forgive me, I will do anything. Anything to solve this problem, Papa. Please. Papa, please. <coughs> please, Papa. Ichie. Ichie. Akume. I'm going to John. Gaga no. Come down. Come down. Our people say, Ebuwe Makiwe, a name Makis. We should not allow him to, to, to go through all this and die away like a fowl. Hmm? Please, forgive him. Why did he do it? Why? I will not allow that cop to come into this compound. I will not forgive him. Hmm. You are an elder. Look at him. Just look at him. He's your only son. Forgive him, please. Go and bring the cops. Go and bury it. That the farmland here will watch because the cops cannot be buried in this.
to have been torturing my mind. This is my friend that you attacked. What confession is that? I'm sorry, I contributed to your past suffering. How? I followed Mama to frame up your wife at the doors. I tell you that she has planned with the Arabans to come and rob your house. I knew it. Mama wanted me to do this because she wanted to marry my friend that told her. I knew it. Which one is it? Does that mean Doris was innocent? Yes, brother. Hey, Jama. I don't know what you're talking about. But you know what she's talking about, so keep quiet. Let her talk. Hey. Go on, my daughter. Speak. No, no. Say I'm not to call my... I don't know what she's talking about. Hey, Jama, you wait. Hey, Jama. <laughs> but you told me that the robbers wounded you. What about the bandage you had on your on your on your arm? And the one mama had on her neck? And then the police officer, what did you call him? Uh, you said he was the investigating police officer generally. What about all those? Brother, it was all a lie. The bandages you saw over her body was all come off And the police officer was a fake police officer. Oh. So why did you wait up to that to tell me this? <laughs> did you ask you? Why did you tell me all this on time? Why did you wait up to that? I'm sorry. Forgive me. Papa said if I don't do that, I'm going to lose her. And I don't want to lose her. Johnson. <laughs> what you should do now for yourself is Mama. to go and look for Doris. Your wife. Mama. What? Mama. <laughs> If you touch her again, I will beat the hell out of you. Are you a small girl? Are you a small girl? Oh, shut up! I guess I have to have some patience, huh? Okay. My manager is busy. I will, I will. Um, excuse me, accountant. And what about the loan I applied for? How far has it gone? Oh, it has already been approved. Oh, really? <laughs> but uh, I guess I have to see our manager. You know, Mr. Okeke has been transferred. Oh, I know. Mm, but I think he approved the loan before he left. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll do it later. Thank you very much. You're looking very well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's good. Doris! What are you doing here? I'm the new bank manager. You are very wicked and heartless. You abandoned your three months pregnant to wife for just no cause, and you are here today to tell me that. that... Anyway, let me reserve my comment. this compound in the first instance. I have forgiven him. Uh, but, uh, by the way, Johnson, where is your mother? Oh, she had heart attack. 
and was rushed to the hospital. My daughter, please, don't be annoyed. Eh? Johnson here is still your husband till the end of your life. I am promising you that everything will be alright. Please, don't be annoyed. Forgive him. you it will never happen again Doris please please forgive me forgive me it was all the work of the devil I promise you Is a rogue, Johnson, just because you wanted to take in second wife. Your mother, your sister threw me out of your house, Johnson. Are you saying your mother confused you? So where is she today? Where is she, Johnson? I know that the God I serve will not leave me. God, I thank you that at last the truth came out. <sighs> Chica! Chica! Auntie. Bring my baby. Be well with you. Please, my son, who, who is this? Johnson? Is this your son? My son? Yes, he's your son. My son? My son? Him, he's 